Howdy friends, this is a fiery yoga core workout. And you know we're gonna get it today because I'm wearing my all black set, which means I'm very serious, but not too serious because I'm a goofball and we like to have fun here. So let's work our abs. We're gonna turn up the heat and let's have some fun. Let's go. Now before we get into our movement, we're gonna start off with a little bit of stillness in child's pose. So bring your knees wide, big toes come to kiss, and then walk your hands forward. Allow your forehead to rest on the mat. Set your hips back on your heels as much as possible. At the same time, walk your palms forward, elongating through the spine. And start to fill your lungs with breath. Inhale through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Bigger breaths now, in through the nose, feel it all the way in the back of your rib cage, and out through the mouth. In through the nose, seal the mouth, and out through the nose this time. Gentle face, not trying too hard with the breath. Just letting it flow. And then come to your fingertips on your hands above. Feel how that stretches through your shoulders, your triceps. Then place the heel of your hand down and reach your fingers towards the sky. Then come to your fingertips. Then reach your fingers towards the sky. Then fingertips. Then reach your fingers towards the sky. Then relax and take a final breath here. Beautiful. Float up through your tabletop and sit your booty back down on your heels. You can always take toes pose as well to stretch your bottom of the feet and the toes. It's just where you're tucking the toes underneath. We'll roll our wrists out to the right or to one side. Since we're gonna be on our wrists a lot, we're gonna warm them up. Not too much, but we will be on our wrists. And roll to the other side. You know, before I started this class, I was a little bit nervous to flow through it with you. Nod your wrists up and down. I do a lot of core exercises, but I know that this one will be challenging for me. And I kind of leaned into that. Uh, nod your wrist no, like right to left. And then blinker your wrists open and close. And so I was leaning into the sensation of feeling a little nervous for this class, trepidatious maybe, and I, the, the sense of nervousness feels the same in your body as excitement does. And I thought maybe I was convincing myself or maybe it was just this way that I was actually feeling excitement instead of nervousness. I'm very excited for this one. It's going to be a warm one. It's gonna be a fun one. Blink, 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 blink. And place your hands at the top of your mat, step your feet back to a plank. Lift your knees up towards the sky, hollow body here so your hip bones are reaching up towards your ribs and you're pressing through your hands so you're rounded through your upper back. Lift your right foot up and then bring your right knee into your nose. Send it back up and bring it into your nose. Send it back to your nose, then back to your nose, then release it. Lift the left leg up, then bring it into your nose. Send it back, then to your nose. Back, nose. Back, nose. Back, and release it. See if you can do this without coming all the way down. We're gonna come to the forearm on our right side. Side plank. 
find this strong side plank, arching up and over like a rainbow, so letting our hips and obliques work, bringing our hips towards the sky. Then bring your left knee up towards the sky, your toes pointed at your knee. Feel the strength, bring your navel in. Then tap your left foot in front of your right leg. Then bring the knee up, tap it in back. Bring the knee up, in front, up, back with control, up, front, up, back, up, lift the hips a little bit higher, front, up, back, up, one more time, front, up, back, up, beautiful, come back into your high plank, two more knees in on both sides, bring the right knee in, then send it back, right knee in, send it back, lower the right, pick up the left, knee in, send it back, left knee in, send it back, drop both heels or both feet and we'll come to our side plank on our left, forearm on the ground, see if you can do it without coming all the way down, engage your obliques, bring your hips up, 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 then bring your right knee, point it towards the sky. The toes are pointed at your left knee. Then tap in front, bring it up, tap in back, bring it up. Tap in front, up, back, up, front, up, back, up, front, up. Lift the hips a little higher, back, up, last time, front, up, back, up, release the right leg and sit down on your booty, facing towards the back of your mat. Little change in perspective, we're gonna be just fine, getting a little creative with it. Come into a reverse tabletop, so your feet are right under your knees, hips distanced apart, your fingers are under your shoulders pointing back at your feet, lift your hips, lift, lift, lift until they're in alignment with your knee. Then you're gonna lift your right knee all the way into your chest, try to get it past your navel, then lower with control, press into your heels a lot, bring the left foot up, then lower, right up, then lower, keep the navel in towards the spine, left, Lower, right, lower, keep the hips high, left, lower, right, lower. We're feeling it, you're doing strong, let's go. Right, lower, left, lower. Two more times each side, right, left, right, left. Beautiful, sit your booty all the way down and roll down onto your back. Bring the right knee into the chest, your left leg is out long, hovering over the mat. Slowly and with control, switch it out. Left knee in, right leg long and hovering. Then switch. Nice and controlled movements. Point or floint your feet. Floint meaning flex and point. Just keep them active. Keep your low back glued and magnetized towards the ground, head up. Left, right, left. Maybe you try no hands now. Right, really bring the knee in if you're doing no hands. Left, reach the straight leg long, right. Left, see if you can crunch up a little bit higher. Right, low back magnetized to the ground. Left, right, five more. Left, right, left, right, left. Keep both knees in a tabletop position. And we're gonna roll up, but we're gonna hold it in a boat pose. So maybe you do a half roll up. And then you do a whole roll up and hold it in boat. Don't let the toes touch. Beautiful, hold for five, four, 
three. Bring your knees into your chest a little bit more. Two, one, roll back. Then hold again. Five, four, you've got this. Three, two, one. One more, roll back. Five, four, maybe you straighten your legs. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Turn into your tabletop, pointed towards the front end of the mat, and we'll stretch our core a little bit. Inhale, look up, tummy drops, tail rises for your cow pose. Exhale, round through each vertebrae, chin to chest, press through the palms for your cat. Inhale, cow. Feel that beautiful stretch. Exhale, cat. With your breath now, maybe you linger in certain postures. Take one more round. Beautiful, then come to a neutral spine. Fingers pointing forward. Your toes tuck and your knees hover about two inches off the mat. Again, bring your hips tucked into your ribs so your hollow body, you're rounded through your back a bit. This is gonna engage the transverse abdominal. These are your deep inner core muscles. We're just gonna hold here with a nice, easy face. Bring your eyebrows down your face, relax them. Maybe a little smile comes onto your face. It's okay to work. We're doing it. You're doing great. Your abdominals should feel like a corset being tightened, all of them coming into the center line. Press into your palms. And then slowly send your hips back and straighten your legs downward, dog. Pedal it out here. Find stillness. One big inhale. And one slow exhale. Inhale your right leg into the air. Exhale your right knee to your right elbow. Maybe you give it a little tap. Inhale, send it back. Exhale to your left elbow, nice and controlled. Give it a little tap. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, crunch it in, knee to nose. Hold it here. Feel your abdominals working. And then gently step it through. Ground down through both feet. Navel is in towards your spine and raise your arms to a 45 degree angle in line with your back leg, angled crescent. So your stomach isn't resting on that front thigh. We're engaged. Breathe. And come to the tiptoe of the back foot, then swim into warrior three. Left leg rises, flex the back foot, navel in. Find a focus point with your eyes, nice and gentle. For five, four, three, two, one. Gently bend the right leg and peel open into warrior two. Sink deep into your front knee. Weight evenly distributed between your front and back foot. Hold. Even in this position, bring your core engaged, navel in towards your spine. Nice and strong. Sink a little lower into that front knee. Feel it. Stay with it. Flip the palm skyward, and on your inhale, reverse the warrior. Coming into a side stretch, feeling your obliques stretch. 
On your exhale, rainbow both arms down, hands plant, step the right foot back into the air, three-legged dog, and exhale through your chaturanga with one leg. Inhale to an up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Tap it in, control. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, tap it over to your right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, tiger curl, knee to nose. Press into your mat, make space, and then gently step through. Ground down through your feet, your core is on. Inhale, your arms up by your ears, 45 degree angle. Your arms and your body in line with your back leg. Angled crescent. Your stomach is off of your front thigh. Then find a focus point with your eyes on somewhere that's not moving. Come to the tiptoe of your back foot and float into warrior three. Right leg rises. Control the breath. For three, for two, for one, slowly bend the left leg, touch down with your right leg, peel open into warrior two. You are strong. Weight evenly distributed between your front and back foot. Try to bring your hips down in line with your left knee. Shoulders down the back, easy face, breathe. Engage your core, even here, full body activity. Flip the front palm. Inhale, scoop the energy back, reverse the warrior. Keep the bend in the front knee. Exhale, wave it all down. Hands meet the mat. Kick the left foot back into a three-legged dog. Exhale through a chaturanga with one leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Sink down through your malasana yogi squat until your booty is on your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. Maybe you give them a hug. A little balancing act here. So your hollow bodied shape, everything is turned on. Hold here, see if you can come into a really long spine and maybe you extend both legs straight. Release with control. Beautiful. Place your hands behind you, fingers pointed forward. Come into a high boat and exhale to a low boat. Your legs extended. The lower part of your back comes to the mat, so you're in a hollow body position. Inhale, bring the knees to the chest, high. Exhale, straighten the legs, low boat. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. High. Low. High. Low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Come up to high, rest your elbows on the mat. 
legs still in a tabletop position and we'll work our lower abs by tapping our right toes to the ground, then bringing them up. Left toes to the ground, bring them up. Make sure your lower back is all the way on the ground so you might need to scoot your elbows back a little bit. Then right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, two more, right, left, right, left. Extend both legs at a 45 degree angle and hold. Easy on the face. If it's hard, you can raise your legs up a little bit higher than 45 degrees. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest, release your back. Well done. Let's rock and roll all the way up. I promise I won't make you hold it this time and we'll come into a tabletop position. Walk our hands forward, walk your knees back to a 90 degree angle and melt your chest down to the mat. Puppy pose. This should feel like a nice stretch for your abdominals, for your shoulders. Allow your body to rest and recalibrate here. Regulate your breathing. Strengthening classes like this are so important to our practice overall. Not only they do, do they support you in the rest of your practice, even in your flexibility journey, but they also help you in your day-to-day -day life, with your posture, when you're sitting at a desk, when you're driving in your car, Walk your hands back to your body. Feel free to take Shavasana on your back and relax for a few minutes. You have definitely earned it. Or if you're looking for a class that will really stretch out all those muscles that we just warmed up, including engaging and stretching out your abs, I recommend the flexibility classes in the description below. Both hands to my third eye. Namaste, sweet friends. I hope you have a beautiful and strong rest of your day and I will see you on the mat soon. Hey, you crushed that class. Good job, you should feel proud. I'm up here sweating and struggling and my voice is cracking up here right along with you at home. So if you like classes like that where they tie in yoga and a little bit of Pilates and you definitely get a workout from it, then you're gonna love my sculpt classes. I have tons more classes like this that focus on strengthening the entire body in the description below. I think that you will love them. Let's get it.